Hey guys, what's up? Uh, out here working on snowball uh, as usual. Um, got a real short one for you that I think you're gonna appreciate because uh, I've noticed just you know through forums and looking at people's trucks in person at events and stuff that a lot of guys are missing the little rubber strips on the corner of the hood there and uh, I don't know if people just don't know where to get them or don't care or it's too difficult to get the split rivets to go in but I wanted to show you an easy way to do that in case you want to you know stop all the squeaking and rusting right there because um, that's that's what happens is the hood rubbing on the grill rubs all the paint off and you get a big bunch of rust and the rust streaks down everything and it's really annoying and it looks bad so um, these rubber strips which Big Mike has um, see they're countersunk on one side for the rivets to sit in they're flat on the other and what holds them on is what I call split rivets they're these little things right here and to install them is actually it would seem hard and it would be if you didn't have the right tool um, but it's not that bad all you need is mainly a pair of pliers like this now these are uh, old Irwin Biscrip brand welding pliers I think these are just for clamping like pieces of sheet metal together I don't remember where I got those or when I have not a clue uh, but I've had them for a long time you'll also need a flathead screwdriver and this is just to get them started okay um, you can use a small pair of vice grips like this on the two on the inside you know on the inside corner right there you can use it on those two but not these two so um, and you'll notice if you look at this one it is on here absolutely tight there's no wiggling no slack that's how it should be you don't want this just kind of dangling and moving because what will happen is either the heads of these rivets will wear off on this plate because they're not very thick they'll rub off on the top of this grill and then your shit will fall off or it'll rub through uh, it'll rub through the small stem of them inside the hole there it'll enlarge the hole and rub through the rivet and then your pad falls off so um, <clears throat> what you want to do and then let me uh, Take a second and get one of these out for you. Oh, shit, I'm gonna drop them. So basically, you got your rubber pad. This is the countersunk side. You're gonna stick your split rivet up through the countersink, and you see it goes almost all the way through there. So you're gonna put it on the hood just like this, with the groove this way. Okay. Then you're going to come in behind the hood or inside of the hood with your screwdriver and stick it in this groove and you're going to bend it this way and you're going to bend it that way so you're going to spread these tabs just far enough that it won't fall out then you're going to come back with these and you imagine this is on the hood edge here and you're going to put it like this so the bottom your bottom jaw is on the head of the rivet and you're going to squeeze down with the top jaw like this and what's this going to do, since you've already started spreading it apart with the screwdriver, is it's going to smash them both flat to either side. And you've got an installed rivet. And it's installed tightly and flat and as square and true as it's going to be. And it looks cool like that. So, um, I guess I can... So you want to take your pliers and you're going to go in here just like this and you're only going to use one jaw on one rivet okay two of them are never going to line up at the same time so the reason i say you can use the vice grips on these two is because there's a short enough span right here you can get on them but for these two you need something with a deep throat like that so you can actually get up around the edge of that uh, reinforcement web and close it on them. okay so here into the lesson, get your parts from Big Mike at BigMike'sMotorPool.com and any paint that you might need to spiff up your truck there from our sponsors at RapcoParts.com. All information for those guys are listed in the description as always. We appreciate you guys watching and we appreciate you guys supporting our sponsors because they support us. And we'll see you next time.
Don't forget to like and subscribe.